Scott, last time you were here, man, we, we talked briefly about the, the Party of Five, 25-year uh, uh, anniversary and all that stuff. Since then, I had uh, Angela and, and uh, Jenna from The Office in here. They're doing a rewatch of The Office, and they're making a podcast out of it. And I thought, oh, my God, what a cool idea. Do you go back and ever revisit or rewatch Party of the Five? Have you ever? Like, what's your reaction to seeing that stuff? Like, So I, th I never did. Yeah. Uh, and for years, for I don't even know, tw tw uh, 20 years, I didn't watch a single uh, frame of it. But then like five years ago, it came onto Netflix, four or five years ago. And I was away, I was shooting a show and uh, I was in like the hotel room one night and I saw that it was, someone said, hey, you're that the Party of Fives on Netflix. So I was just like, oh, I'll watch, maybe I'll just watch like a scene. And I don't even know, like seven hours later, I was like sitting on the couch, just bawling. My eyes out. Uh, yeah, because I mean, it was it, it was like leafing through like a family photo album, um, uh, and uh, yeah, it was. I mean, it was an incredibly rewarding experience. I still love uh, all those people, and and the stories were really uh, human and and kind of timeless. And so, uh, I think it's why people still. You you mentioned the show, and it's not like. You know, talking about like uh, you know the Andy Griffith show, which also makes me cry. Uh, but it's it still holds this real emotional resonance for people. So yeah, so I just I sort of binge through a bunch of episodes, and now it's not on. I don't think it's streaming there anymore. But um, but yeah, so it was revisited. Yeah, I did. It was nice to dip back in, cool. but I'm I'm good for a while.